Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Mellow Island. This year I made a silent vow to myself that I was going to put out a video every single week. However, life happened and now I'm in over my head swamped with work. So for the past two weeks I have not been able to put out a video and I have my one year anniversary on YouTube coming up and I know that I will not be able to actually sit down and have time to record anything. So I am taking these few moments before work starts to record a video to say thank you to everyone for supporting my channel over the past year. Whether it's been through some likes, from, from sharing, from comments, tips, video ideas, thank you so much. I still have a very long way to go before I get monetized. I only have 152 subscribers when I last checked. I need to get to a thousand. I'm at less than 200 watch hours. I need to get to 4,000. But monetization is not the goal. I started this channel to be able to do something to kind of distract me from motherhood so that I can kind of wind down and refocus because that's necessary for our mental health. Sure, as moms, we love the crap out of our kids. However, we tend to lose ourselves when we become parents and that in essence is not good for mental health as i mentioned earlier sure your whole life now <laughs> revolves around this little person okay. but it is essential to make time for yourself do something for yourself it helps you refocus it gives you the satisfaction of i wouldn't really call it hanging on to your previous life because you know we have to accept this new change that we have been transitioning to for the past nine months but you know don't don't get lost in motherhood that would be my you know little piece of advice to new moms also i started this channel to be able to get a little more confident with public speaking. I have always been extremely shy. <laughs> you know, whenever I call, I'm called upon, I twitch, I fidget, I do all kinds of crazy things. My stomach goes bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> so confidence in public speaking is not my fault. I'm, I'm a very confident person, you know, in the background by myself, nobody looking at me, nobody having to listen to me. As soon as everyone's attention is on me, it gives me a certain level of anxiety that I have no control over. And in my field of work, I have been called on in recent years to address me, um, address people in meetings and address large crowds and I'm like you know what I have to do something about this <laughs> by the hook or by the crook I am going to try to work on that I cannot I cannot just be a hot mess every time somebody asks me to speak you know <laughs> but I think at this stage I have seen a lot of improvement compared to my first video about COVID, which you can find up here. Here. It'll be somewhere up here, okay? <laughs> I've lost my bearings and I can't think right now. I personally think I have made tremendous strides in my speaking confidence and I think that is commendable because that just shows me that my YouTube channel isn't what, it, what I intended it to do. The third goal of mine for creating this channel has been to educate people how to use technology and to explain certain technological concepts to you guys and I must say that the feedback has been great. Um, you know, it, it doesn't have to be a whole 
PhD lecture. It could be, you know, some something pretty basic that, you know, somebody didn't know. But I mean, sure, a lot of people are pretty versed in how to use technology and a lot of concepts these days. But there are still quite a few people who have no idea how to use how to do certain things and um, they don't know how they don't know about certain concepts as well so my channel is pretty much catering to these people I don't want to get like too technical like because it gets boring <laughs> not boring but it's interesting to you know certain people and not to everybody so not everybody would be able to understand all the fine details of what my job entails, for example, and they would not have any interest in subscribing to my channel. <laughs> but all in all, thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting my channel. And I will also like to delve into a few things that I have learned since creating my YouTube channel. So one of the first things, and um, this pretty much, this stands out to me the most. Okay, so the biggest lesson that I've learned is that support doesn't always come from where you expect. In this past year, I have noticed that the people that you expect to support your channel the most are the ones who support it the least. I'm going to say it again just for you to process. The people that you expect to support your channel the most are the ones supporting your channel the least. That to me kind of, yeah. Before I get into the, to this um, next thing that I'm going to say, I recognize that everybody has their own lives. Don't get me wrong, but you know, it's your close friends or your family that those are the ones who support the least. Do you, can you imagine that? Your close friends and your family are the ones supporting you the least. <laughs> but all in all, I do have some close friends like Tyron Benoit. I must absolutely give him a shout out. You can find his channel up here. See, I, I kind of go wrong right now. I have both fingers up, so whichever side of the screen that it that the card shows up i can't go wrong yeah he has been a huge huge support to me tyron would reshare every single link tyron will comment on every single video whether publicly or privately and I really, I really appreciate you, Tyron. I cannot express this enough. Another huge support is, and you can probably tell by now if you have seen any of my family get together, is my cousin, Natalia. Yeah, that is my ride or die right there. <laughs> no cap, because she goes so hard for me in, um, getting my videos the visibility that it deserves. Natalia will reshare every single link. She will practically spam her WhatsApp contacts by posting my links to her WhatsApp status every single day. And I know that we've had a pretty rough upbringing. Well, I wouldn't say rough, but we were always fighting as kids. But at the end of the day, it's all love. I love you. You know that. I probably wouldn't say it to your face, but <laughs> yeah, that, that that's how weird our relationship is. But we love each other. And I know it's because you love me, you'll be sharing my links, so. <laughs> I wanna thank me for believing in me. 
I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for, for never quitting. And another lesson that I've learned is that to always stay true to yourself. You know, a lot of a lot of people out there are doing pretty much the same thing. And you know, that's fine. It's getting them the traction that they need. I'm saying true to myself and it's taking me a little longer, but at the end of the day at least I can go to sleep at night knowing that I'm not putting up a front for anybody and you know the traction will come whenever it comes if it comes great if it doesn't that's fine too because at the end of the day I created this YouTube channel for myself to for my own personal development as a creator like I said I've been oh that's another goal of my channel is to use my creativity and pretty much put it out there so um yeah this has been for my own personal development so while i am grateful for the support i am not angry at the people who don't support it is what it is you know i am growing personally <laughs> so that's all that matters at the end of the day and I would also like to say on that point that whether or not your personality resonates with the masses because everybody is drawn to the upgoing type of people naturally I guess not for me but <laughs> you know a lot of people out there they tend to gravitate to the um, more outgoing personalities the bigger personalities but when you are more quiet and laid back like myself you know you don't resonate with as many people and i have to remind myself that melisha <clears throat> you are who you are don't change that for anybody don't change that for some likes don't change that for some comments don't change that for some subscriptions because it's not worth it yeah it could be in the grand scheme of things getting monetized and whatnot but how long am I going to put up that front for I don't know it, to me it's just draining it takes a lot of energy to pretend and I'm just not about that life so if my bland personality has resonated with you and you have supported my channel in one form or another i would just like to say thank you so much for supporting my channel over the past 12 months and getting to getting me and my channel to where we are today and i look forward to your continued support i have also created a I have created Patreon, but honestly, I have not been given been given that particular platform much attention. But I have also created a buy me a coffee. So if you want to support me financially, because you know, although gear doesn't matter, it does in some aspects. You know, there are always mics to be bought and lights to be bought. The Thank you again so much, whether you choose to support me financially or not, that is okay because just your time to watch what I am putting out is enough for me. So don't forget to share this video, hit the like button, you can leave me a comment if you like. and get your friends and family to subscribe so we can move forward in 2021 and push out some more fun and engaging content thanks guys